Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Burning Paris Gunslinger Suicidal. So I read I read manga. I read a lot of manga. I read a lot of light novels, web novels, webtoons, manhua, manhua, you know, whatever. You name it, you got some Asian media that's full of uh, you know, power hungry kinda nonsense. I'm I'm here for it, okay? But uh, you know, romance, you know the whole the whole nine yards, okay? I'm here for it. I love that kind of stuff. I'll, i I eat it up, okay? But my, my favorite, my favorite of all of the manga, of all of the manga that I've read, I've read, I've read, I've read a lot. Like, it's, it's up into the hundreds, dude. I've read, I've read a lot. So this is, this is, uh, this is coming from a, a place of experience, of great experience. Wow. Oh my god. Do you guys ever get, like, uh, you guys probably don't because you're all men, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it anyway, okay? We gotta, we gotta start bringing up more of the, the feminine anecdotes here so we build up more of that female audience. You guys ever get like, cause I have long hair, it's like two feet long. Comes down to cover up about my boobs. You guys ever get um, like a, a hair that falls out of your, out of your head, you know? And and you're just like picking up hair and you're like, where the heck did that come from? Oh right, my head, right? Yeah. Well, the thing is, is when you have um, at least in my experience, um, like my bra. Okay, I wear a bra. Okay, and I get um, you know, it's 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 fairly well fitting, you know, it's it's it fits, okay? It it it's it, it's on there and it's uh making contact at uh, at all at all points more or less. It's not tight, but it it's 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 making contact, okay? <laughs> and uh, sometimes one of my hairs will like fall off my head and then like weave itself through my bra somehow, and then I pull it out and I can like feel it rubbing through my bra and it is the most bizarre feeling it is just like it doesn't happen often it's like it's like once every month or two you know like it's just somehow or other this hair just like with with the way that I'm moving and stuff and, and the way things are, are kind of moving around and stuff that the hair just kind of like weaves its way through the bra and it's like yeah, I'm getting in there, dude. I'm I'm right I'm right here. I'm uh I'm I'm sewing up your bra and I'm like, I don't really need you to do that though, okay? Like you can chill out. But it, it gets right in there, right? And I pull it out and it's just it's like you can feel every movement. Because like I said, it's making contact. There there is there is contact being made. It is not tight, but it it is, you know, very connected. And um It's uh it's just it's a bizarre feeling. It's like uh I don't know, I don't even know how I'd explain it to men. Um I don't think there's a parallel. <laughs> I think I think I think it is exclusively it, 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 the, the the feeling is is entirely unique to to what it is, it, and it, it is it is just it is bizarre because you can feel it as it like weaves through the through the bra. You can't do it as it happens because I guess it just happens slowly over like you know a few hours or something as you're as you're moving around. But anyway, that's what just happened to me. I just I, I like was pulling my hair out of my shirt. And apparently some of that hair was, was was weaved through my bra, and I'm like, oh my god, this is bizarre. Like I said, it doesn't happen often, but when it does, it's uh not not pleasant, it's not unpleasant, it's just it's 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 bizarre. Okay. Anyway, so I read a lot of manga. And I uh, come from a point of experience, right? Of of a lot of experience. And uh my favorite manga. Actually, we have to take a, a brief break here. And we're back. Buy some armor. Where were we? Where were we? What did I have to take a break for? Look, I'll be straight up with you. That's my tip. I'll be straight point? up with you. Something I ate yesterday didn't sit so well with me. And uh, we, had, we had a bit of an emergency uh, break. Anyway, my... Uh, well, it's weird to come back to this. Like, I, I, had to, I had to go use the uh, the restroom real briefly. And uh, after that, I was like, well, I'll just kind of read for a bit. <laughs> and uh, it's, like, it's been like probably like 30 minutes since I paused. So it's a uh, little bit out of it. But okay, we, were talking about, so we were talking about my favorite manga. I've read a lot of manga, and I have a, I have a favorite. My favorite manga is Horimiya. Horimiya. 
Not Horny Mia, but Horny Mia. Which is, uh... It's an adorable little manga about uh, two teens in high school who are, uh... Both have their own private lives that they don't necessarily want other people to, to see. Um, not because they're necessarily ashamed of it, but it's just like... You know, when, when you're around people, you, you act a little bit differently than when you're kind of by yourself a little bit more free and you, you get to kind of be yourself a little bit, you know? And, um, the, the two of them end up, uh, like, finding each other. So, uh, you got, uh, Hordy, which is, like, Hordy, which is, uh, the, the female lead who is, uh... Kind of like taking care of, he, she's like, you know, the popular, you know, pretty girl at school or whatever. Um, and then at home, she's the one that like takes care of her little brother and, you know, does all the housework and all that kind of stuff. And uh, she doesn't really want people seeing her when she's like, not, you know, pretty up and stuff because she just she doesn't want to deal with the with the hassle that comes with, uh, with people, you know, like poking fun at her for, you know wearing like sweatpants or whatever you know and uh then you got Miyamura Mi Miyamura Mi Miyamura I, Mi I can't pronounce it uh Miyamura Mi <laughs> Miyamura Miyamura Mi Mi I can't pronounce it yeah Miyamura who is uh the uh the male lead and he's uh at school he's he's a fairly reserved individual with uh you know his hair kind of covering up his face and always wearing like lots of clothes to cover up stuff and he, he kind of looks like a, a weird kid kind of thing and then outside of school he's he's you know put his hair up and he's full of piercings and he wears uh you know t-shirts and stuff and he's got like tattoos and everything he's just he doesn't want people seeing that stuff when he's at school and then making a big deal out of it he just kind of wants to get through school um without too much fuss right and uh, by chance, uh, the two of them happen upon each other, right? And by the way, there aren't going to be any like spoilers about Horimi in this. Um, this is this is pretty early stuff. Uh, by chance, the two of them happen upon each other. So Miyamura, he's uh, he's like he's out and he finds uh, Hori's like brother, and then takes Hori home or, or takes uh, the brother home or whatever, and they end up meeting each other and then. Uh, they end up, like, kind of getting together and, like, hanging out at times because they both know each other's, like, kind of personal lives and they can kind of, like, rely on each other and trust each other with that and stuff. So they, they end up, like, kind of falling together pretty pretty well and uh, eventually they end up, you know, falling in love, being in a relationship, blah, 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 right? And uh, that that's, you know, I see eventually it happens pretty quickly. Um... It's 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 very 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 early on in the series. It's, it's like it's not a spoiler. Like I said, no spoilers, and uh, that happens like super early that they end up uh, getting together, which is uh, is nice. It's a nice change from from other stuff because uh, it, it means that the story is based on like them having their relationship together, which a lot of people don't like because a lot of people like that kind of like pre relationship. Uh, anxiety that comes in the in the in, in manga and whatnot. I personally like the just seeing the like fluffy kind of uh, post relationship, you know, like post being in a relationship thing. I don't I don't like the the pre relationship stuff so much, and that's that's you know, I mean, post relationship is exactly what uh, I hate that you can't see the back of them when they're uh, firing. That's one thing that sucks. Um, but uh, anyway, so so. It, it, it's like just this really really cute adorable manga about the the two teens kind of being in a relationship together and, and, and kind of exploring what that means together um, and it, it's just it's super super cute but it, and it's my favorite manga because of that because it is it is just it's just terribly adorable right like it, it's terribly adorable and I love it if you guys like manga if you like romance manga like I, I genuinely cannot recommend it enough it is just by far the most enjoyable manga I've ever read. And I've read a lot of them, okay? You name a manga, I've probably read it, okay? And, uh... Horimi is just, it's like... It's it's so good. It's so good. Um, anyway, so I was reading the latest, the, uh, the latest chapter, like yesterday, and apparently they have an anime coming out. Right? They have an anime coming out in uh, Winter 2021. 
so like January 2021. They have uh, they have an anime, and oh, we're, we're, we might be in the cutscene even. Maybe, maybe, maybe. No, we're a little bit too far away. But uh, they have an anime coming out, and I have never been more excited for an anime. You know, I've never, uh, I've never. Because there are a few scenes that I am like just extremely hyped to, to see animated, honestly. There are a few scenes that I'm like super super hyped to see to see like properly animated. Uh, again, no spoilers. So I'm not gonna tell you what scenes. It's, it's not it's not horny stuff. It's it's funny stuff. Um, Money, anyone? But uh, there there are there are there are a, uh, a few scenes that I am just really 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 excited to to see animated and. I've never been like I've, I've never read something, you know. I've never I've never been reading something or watching something, or whatever, and then uh, seen an announcement for like I've never been like super super into something, I guess. Because I've read manga, and then they'd be like, "We're getting an anime," and I'm like, oh, "That's cool. I'm not gonna watch it," <laughs> you know. Like I don't really care. It's like it, it wasn't that good. Like I read I read because I had like you know 20 minutes extra one day, and that like you got you got an anime. That's, that's you know, good for you. I'm not watching it. Um, I've never been like super super into something like I am with Horimiya. Uh, and then seen like, we're getting a movie, we're getting an anime, we're getting a TV show, we're getting a this, we're getting a that. You know, like with reading a book, reading, watching a, you know, reading a book or a webcomic or, or something. And then, you know, like, like we're getting a TV show or, or something, you know, like I've, I've never been super super into something. And then they, they, uh, they like get, you know, they, they take the next step, you know, and this is, uh, this, this is the first time that I got to do that, and so I've, I've always been of the belief that I'm like, I don't know, like, I don't, I don't get uh, starstruck and all that kind of stuff. I don't know, maybe I do, because, like, dude, it's all I can talk about. I've been annoying people talking about it. <laughs> like, I am so excited about it to, 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 to see this anime coming out, and, like, I don't know, it's just, it's weird. Because I've never, I've never been in that position before where, uh, you know, some media that I, uh, I, I, I engage in. That I, I engage with is, uh, is is taking another step to to, to, to make it into a uh, you know another form of media, and I'm like, dude, this is like super exciting. <laughs> I'm like so excited. I'm like super happy about it, and I'm like, I don't know, it's 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 it's, it's weird. It's a weird feeling because I've never I've never been that before. You know, normally normally when I saw it, I was it was like I said like it was just something that was there, and I was like, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I probably won't watch it. Or, you know, typically what happens is. Uh, I'll uh, I'll notice, you know, when it comes out, I'll notice the animes for like a, a manga or something that I read, and I'll be like, oh cool, they got an anime, that's cool, you know. But like, I'm like I'm like seeing the announcements and stuff, you know, and uh, I'm like, dude, that's pretty, it's pretty dang sick, right? Like, to be getting an anime, and uh, yeah, it's got me excited about anime again. Like we talked recently about uh, about anime and how I'm not super interested in it, but boy, am I interested in this one! Uh, it's being uh, animated by a studio who's done uh, like, um, what is it? The Forgotten Neverland, I think. I can't remember the name of it. It's the one with the kids and the like. They're trying to escape or whatever. Um. Really, really, really well done animations in that one. Um, it's got like, you know, Darling in the Franks, which wasn't really a good anime, but not because of the animation. Uh, it's got they've got uh, they they got like a, a number of just ones like uh, anime that are that are really really noteworthy uh, for for just the animation front, and uh, I'm 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 highly excited because this is this is like a comedy first kind of thing, right? Like it's like shown in. Shonen manga, right? And uh, so it's comedy first, romance second, but um, not by much. <laughs> so I'm I'm excited to see how they're gonna animate some of the some of the scenes in it and uh, kind of like nail that the the comedic um, effect of it. Uh, I'm super super excited about that. And yeah, basically what I'm saying is it has been it has been a weekend of uh, of strangeness for me with 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 the whole Northern Lions baby thing and then. Or me getting an anime and me experiencing this kind of feeling for the first time in my life. I'm just it's uh it's it's an emotional experience. It's been it's been an emotional <laughs> weekend. 
for uh, for a number of reasons. It's uh, it wasn't wasn't the weekend I was expecting when I was going into it. You know, I'll, I'll put it that way. I expected to have a, a nice, enjoyable, relaxing weekend. You know, and that's what I got, but not not quite how I expected to have it. <laughs> And uh, a lot of things have, well, two things really that, that ha happened that uh, kind of gave me feelings that I never had before, you know? Just just emotions that I've never, that I've never felt. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'm becoming more human, <laughs> you know? Maybe I'm becoming more human. I, uh, I don't know science, but if you know science, then uh, this might mean something to you. Alternatively, it doesn't. Because with, with stuff like this in games... It either it's it's either like you know a recipe to cake, uh, <laughs> hello portal, uh, or it's it's just like gibberish, right? It's it's either like you know a reference and you're gonna get it if you know what all that garbage means. Um, you know, it might be like molecules that are actually like prominent in science, or they they might be like a joke or something like that. Like I don't know, I'm not I'm not a molecular. I. Uh, can you, like, die? I, I swear, I shot that dude, like, 16 times. Um, it's, you know, it could be, it could be, like, a meme or something like that in the, in the science community. Or alternatively, it could just be that they designed a molecule themselves because they wanted, you know, lore. I don't know. I'm not a molecule. Okay, I'm not a, I'm not a, you know, I'm not a chemist. I'm not a biologist. What, 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 what person is it that deals with, like, molecules? Moleculist? <laughs> Um, I, 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 I think it's, I, like, I don't know. Physicist? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I, I, I dropped out of high school in, like, grade 10. I might, I might know what, uh, yeah, 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 I'm not, I'm not dumb, but I don't, I'm not educated. Okay, I'm not, I'm not educated, okay? Can you not shoot me, dude? My goodness. Anyway, yeah, it was, a, it was an emotional weekend for me. Not like a, uh, I cried a lot, not not in that kind of way. You know, that that would be a more normal weekend. Me crying a lot, because I cry a lot. Not because I'm sad, you don't have to worry about me for crying, okay? I know, I know sometimes I say I cry a lot, and then uh, people that I talk to are like, oh, is everything okay? I'm like, yeah, like, you know, I, I dropped my cheese on the floor, and <laughs> it was just, it was a really emotional time. Like, wow, you must have a lot on your plate if you... If you're crying over dropped cheese, I'm like, no, the cheese fell off my plate and it's empty now. <laughs> anyway, it's uh, I just I cry very easily, so a normal weekend is me crying a lot. And this weekend was a uh, a weekend full of emotions that I've never felt before, full of full of feelings I've never had before, and it was uh, it was weird. It was weird. Weird. Y'all ever uh, done the like old uh, throat singing stuff? You know, I uh, <laughs> I get it's uh, it's fun. I've uh, I, I I do it all the time. I um, throat singing for those who don't know, or the uh, what's it called the uh, um, I forget what it's called, but it's where you have like the two different notes, kind of like in harmony, kind of thing. When you're when you're singing or whatever, um, Mongolian throat singing, for instance, if y'all ever heard that, and a lot of uh, First Nations places do it, like uh, uh, in, across the Americas, um, like it's it's a, it's a very prevalent thing in um, cultures with like a longer history. <laughs> really, uh, it's an old thing, um, but it's fun, dude. It's fun. If y'all haven't done it, you should try it because it's just it's fun. Okay. And I know there, there are some people, there are some people who will be like, that's cultural appropriation, those people are dumb. Okay, I'm gonna say it. Okay, it's not cultural appropriation, because which culture are you appropriating? Okay? Like, like, there, like there, there's, there's, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's not, they don't call it throat singing, but it is like the same kind of thing over in like Italy or something like that, in some places in Italy. Um... Like, like it's it's everywhere, dude. It's everywhere. Like you know, if if you say it's cultural appropriation, and some people do. Some people get really really mad when when people who aren't of a specific culture are like trying to do it. And I'm like, it's just it's just no. <laughs> it's not. That's not. That's not how cultural appropriation works. Okay. It's not. It's not. You don't get to do that. 
You don't get to just call it cultural appropriation because you, you don't want other people to, to have your thing. This, this is my thing. It's not your thing. Gonna toss a grenade in there. Nice knowing you, dude. Anyway, it's a, it's good fun. So you 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 know, basically what you do, okay? See if we can do some some basic stuff on the fly here. I do it all the time when I'm trying to like talk to myself, right? So what you want to do is you want to like kind of like go with like a monotone voice, right? So you want to kind of like, eh, right? And then you kind of like, you know, that's just that's what you do. And then you kind of like, dog like, yeah, you know, in the big way. Anyway. You kind of get the like the, the like two kind of notes, kind of like hitting it in harmony, and then you can, um, um, and then you can go down here and like kind of like talk like that, and also add it in there, and then that gives you like some some proper like kind of like actual singing kind of thing happening with it. Anyway, if you guys haven't checked it out, like do check out some like Mongolian intro singing. Cause that stuff's pretty sick, dude. It's pretty cool. I like it. Anyway, no idea how I got onto that topic. But it's cool, if you haven't done it, do it. Okay? And just like sit sit in your sit in your computer chair. Make your make your lunch or whatever. Sit there and just kinda <laughs> you look like a fool, you sound like a fool. But gosh darn it, it's fun. And that's what really matters at the end of the day, right? And don't worry about the people who say it's cultural appropriation because they're dumb. It's not cultural appropriation. Can you like shoot that? I don't know. I wanna I wanna I wanna try out uh Exploding this dude, because I want to see how it works. Because I have to take extra shots on this dude now because of um, what the game has done to me, you know? No, you can't be doing that. Because I know that he still has the thing on his back, but you don't get to see it. Oh, yeah, you can still shoot him in the. You, you can shoot him in the little, like, uh, fire hole. Okay, yeah, that works. That's fine. I just don't like it when uh, when when I can't when when the when the when the skins make it harder to to hit things like the the stupid monkey scrakes. Don't change my hitboxes. Just change the way they look. Don't change the models. Don't change the animations. This dude looks terrible. He's stupid. I hate him. It's like just a really bad Halloween costume on some fat dude who's already wearing a like fat Halloween costume. This is what it looks like to me. Where is he anyway? Yeah, it was, it was, uh, the weekend. I don't know. How was your guys' weekend? You guys have a uh, exciting weekend? Did you guys have as uh, many revelations as I did? I had as many revelations as I did. Yeah, it's a joke that I do all the time. You know, like people, people just eat it up, dude. <laughs> they really do, and. Uh, you know, the longer you know me, the more you're like, wow, is this your only joke? I'm like, yeah. That's that's all I got. That's that's my repertoire right there. But, uh, like, when people don't know me very well, and they're just learning, you know, about my my, my existence, my, my, my dumb jokes, they get people real good, you know? Like, somebody's asking if I wanted to kill any bosses the other day. I'm like, I would if I did not want to. Oh, they, they just they thought it was the funniest thing. And I'm like, well, they didn't think it was the funniest thing, but they laughed at it, okay? And I'm like, yeah, you laugh now. Wait until, like, you know, a year from now when you're like, I've heard that before, like, 18 times. It's just, like, do you want to or not? Well, no. And, uh... You know, like, did you guys have as much fun as I did? Because I know I did. I had as much fun as I did. I had, I, you know, I say, I say that kind of stuff all the time in, uh... Okay, we're just breaking this. Let me out! No, I got stuck, dude. I say that kind of stuff all the time, even in the series. I'm sure you guys hear it all the time. And, uh... Yeah, I mean, it's just me. That's just me. That's just me being me. See what I mean? He just looks like a fat dude wearing a fat dude costume underneath a sh stupid Halloween costume. Am I not right? Anyway. That's gonna do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Hello.